Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. My Chongqing. My name is Mikhail. I'm here with Echo. Echo, yeah. And we have a special guest with us here today. This is Lily, a uh, local tour guide here who is able to tell us more about the place that we're at. Where are we today, Echo? We are in Dazu Rock Carvings, which is a very famous spa in Chongqing. It's one of the eight famous uh, carvings, stone carvings in the world, I think. Yes. Maybe, yeah. So, As far as I'm concerned, it's the most famous. <laughs> this is my favorite, one of yeah. my favorite tourist locations by far. So should we go check yeah, it out? Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's climb up the steps. The weather is beautiful today. It's a perfect yeah. day to be outside and do this. So Lily, tell us the story about this site. Uh, okay, you know, that rock carving maybe refers to all the statues, carvings, and inscriptions in Dazu County. It was listed in the World Heritage List in 1999, represented by five sites. You will see the biggest one. The Baoding, Baoding, Baoding Shan Road Carvings. And we have others. Mm -hmm. Bei Shan Road Carvings, Nan Shan Road Carvings, Shi Zhuan Shan and Shi Men Shan. Yeah, this is the biggest. All the statues here, only one person designed. Only one person designed. He was a monk. Mm -hmm named uh, Zhao Zhifeng. Mm -hmm. He almost dedicated all his life, about 70 years, from his 19 to 89. Wow. Yeah, finished all the steps here. Now we uh, start from his ending part. Maybe this way, please. So this big statue, big yeah. carvings. This one is called Liu, Liu Benzun, right? Liu Benzun, yes. He's like the teacher of Zhao Zhifeng. Yes, teacher of Zhao Zhifeng. You can see he has no right eyeball. Mm -hmm. He has no left earlobe wow. and no left arm. Why did he hurt his, himself? Because he was an ascetic monk mm -hmm. in China. So he do this for the practice in just, Buddhism. Yes, just sacrifice himself mm -hmm. to Buddhism. Is that a very common thing? Or is yeah, that something a bit special? Common. <laughs> it's a very special kind of time. way to practice in the Buddhism, but yeah. not all the way. Right. Not everyone do to, that. Trying to, how to say, stop his physical and the psychological desires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Just give away everything. Yeah. Even <laughs> yeah. his body. So you, you can see, actually, we are start from his ending part. Oh. So this is the ending part in the Ending area. part. You can see it didn't finish. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, no, any record, but uh, we guess maybe the May designer was dead. Uh -huh. Maybe there was broke out a war, oh. but nobody knows why. Yeah, quite interesting. Yes, yeah. to see the unfinished part in the body area. Yeah, because these scriptures and uh, carvings are so exercise but th these are like tough rocks just tough rocks yes yeah so actually we'll start from the ending part the last story takes the biggest one as the center oh so yeah. we enter in the ending part and yeah. we are heading towards the yeah. hill picture of a hill the second one is the hill oh okay. that's what i'm interested in <laughs> <laughs> yeah horrible <laughs> because there is a there is an image is one there's one carbon the chicken feeder yeah the lady is feeding chicken uh, most of she is in hell why because she fed chicken to eat oh you know in hell in the buddhism there are five forbiddens don't kill animal mm -hmm. don't drink alcohol mm -hmm. don't steal no cheating and no sex without marriage it's kind of like the because the, she fed the, chicken to eat discipline in the Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the, instead of using the horrible picture of the killing yeah. chickens, they yeah. use the peaceful, beautiful lady. Face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Peace <laughs> on her face, just feeding the birds, the chickens, and go to hell. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is the masterpiece of Dazu Road carvings. Why? In 1988, China Post Office issued. Uh, Four stamps. Mm -hmm. This is one of it. Oh, that should be. Also, oh, that girl was on one of the stamps. Yeah. Yes, yeah. in 1988. Mm -hmm. Yes, very famous in in Dazu road carvings. 
Well, I think those pictures, uh, those carvings in Dazhu were like uh, they image the daily life of the locals, yes, right? Yes, not like uh, north of China royal family. Yeah. That belongs to ordinary people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. daily life. It's like a kind of secularization yeah. of the Buddhism in China. Yes. It's also one of the things that sets these rock carvings apart from many of the others, that many of the others are sort of very much focused on the religious aspects, yeah. where yeah. this one is more sort of, it's daily. about regular people, <laughs> daily life, yeah. and yeah. what's it right. called, filial piety. Yeah, filial piety is over there. Yes. Yeah. Here just told us, don't don't drink alcohol. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because after people drunk, oh. people will do something bad. Okay. So you can see the ch the man, and the girl hold alcohol. <laughs> Quick shout out to our yeah. wow. guests so joining us today. We're getting a lot of comments, everybody. Okay. Hi, Wahab. Show Hi, us five stories. Don't Hello, Vivian. Oh. Because this guy, because drunk, thank you for joining back us. To kill his father and have sex with his mother. <laughs> Just this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because drunk. <laughs> so lots of reasons not to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore. Drink. Yes. The next one is the heaven. Oh, that's <laughs> maybe in Buddhism it was called the uh, West Pure, Pure Land. Land. Yeah. Pure Why Land. is the West? Why is West? Because West uh, for Chinese people is a good direction. Buddhism comes from the West. So it's like an ultimate destination in yes. Buddhism. Yes. Okay. Is that why that novel is called Journey to the West? Yeah. Ah. yeah. Uh -huh. they, up, uh, they took the satra from the west. So Actually, it's from the west. India, right? Yes. <laughs> but this one, you have to focus on the carvings. Mm -hmm. So much details. Yeah. You can see the crown. Oh, really? The crown. Yeah. She is wearing. Yes. So much details. Very delicate. Yeah. They're beautiful, right? Yeah. What do so these carvings are very, very, very detailed, and obviously it took a very long time to do them. Did did the carvers ever make any mistakes, and like had to cover up Maybe. by hitting too hard or I mean, little mistake? Yeah. Did not make the big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the head off his. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they will. Um, create something else on their mistakes. I guess yeah, if you make okay, a mistake, yeah. you just have to sort of work around it and then turn it into something that, yeah. that still works. You can't hide it on the rock because you can't hide it. You yeah, can't but it's just different it. because if you're painting, you could just paint it over. Yeah. If you're drawing on a piece of paper, you just erase it's the line you don't it. want. Oh, because all of the carvings are made from one rock. Yes, right? all the statues you see in one piece of rock. That's in amazing. one piece of rock. That's yeah. amazing. That requires good. So should be uh, careful. <laughs> yeah, you cool. must have uh, picture it in your mind over and over again. And yeah. Sorry, the sun is a little bright. What I will do on the rock, and I'll design the image, and then I'll shape it yes. and shape the stone, and then just to carve it very carefully. Yeah. Yeah. It really requires uh, high skill. <laughs> yeah, high skill. Yes. So these people who carve these carvings, how did they get, Is were you chosen to carve these rock carvings? Did you volunteer because you had the skill? Actually, to do the carvings, actually, at that time, it's a, how to say, a work, a kind right. of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because somebody donation their money to yeah. do this, so they can. So you were commissioned. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Uh, it's a kind of career. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're hired to do this. You're hired to do this. And Just like you have stone carvers and people who make statues yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and of course, at that time, um, they all kind of, well, most of them are believers, yeah. right? Most yes. of them are Buddhists. So, so they, they, they believe can. what they do. So they, when, when they do this, they feel peace, peace in their mind, yeah. and they can do it very well. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would feel good about lending my skills to something like this. Yeah. Also, because it's something so permanent. I think in, in today's world, we all want our name to live on yeah. in some form or another. Mm -hmm. And when you do something like this, it's there. Yeah, it, they put them their names on the rock. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can clearly see who did it. About, uh, sponsors, something like that, who donated the money to do the restoration. Because you can see the surface decoration. Uh, they are paid, pasted the gold leaf painting, color painting, many, many times, you can see. Oh. Yeah. So generation by generation. Yeah, generation by generation. Protect this uh, carbons. 
all the time. This story is about uh, Sakyamuni's filial piety. Oh, you know, who oh. is Sakyamuni? Yes, he is. Uh, <laughs> he's the one who. He's the. Uh, he's the one who lied down after giving. His teachings, right? He would lie down and then enter nirvana. Enter nirvana. Enter nirvana. Yeah. There is a big statue of him here as well. We'll but get to that later. Originally named uh, Siddhartha Gautama. Right. People respectfully call him Sakyamuni. Oh. Sakyamuni means love, peaceful, mercy, and wisdom. Oh. Yeah. It's a good name so to get. He had all of that. Yeah. <laughs> he yes. possessed all of these skills. Yeah. The so enlightened one. That's him, right? Yeah, that's him, Sakyamuni. I just. Oh, so this big one up here? Yeah. Yes. Mm. You can see some golden leaf on, on his face, right? Yeah. But they are kind of need reconstruction. Yeah. So this is him. Decoration tracking. Lifting. Yeah. Because the south of China is it's hard to protect them. Yeah. Can you tell me the whole story about these figures? Because I'm curious about what he's, why he is <laughs> picking up two persons. Uh, <laughs> the story is about uh, Sakyamuni's filial piety. Mm -hmm. You know, Buddhism comes from ancient India. Mm -hmm. uh, but when the Buddhism came to China at the beginning, Chinese people cannot accept the Buddhism all. Then, Buddhism integrated with the Chinese culture. This is an interesting story about this. Yeah. You see, one monk, he met a beggar yeah. who carried his parents. Go, yeah, yeah, traveling many places by bag. Wow. He had three pancakes. Yeah, the see? weather is amazing. Uh, two. You've been really lucky with this. <laughs> and the parents' hands. Mm -hmm. Another one. Just there, can you see? Yeah. Pancake. Oh, pancake. Just like so, they beg for living with the, with his parents. Yes. Okay. Never abandon yeah. his family. Uh -huh. So at that time, we had someone asking where we are. We're in a place called Datsu Rock here. Carvings, a famous rock carving site that is located in Datsu District in oh, Chongqing, a little a bit out of the main city. This is a good boy. But focus that these people here. They are not Chinese people. But those were like foreign, they foreign are, religions. Yes, at right. that time, they are foreigners. I'm pretty sure this is from the ancient Japan. Maybe. Yeah, because <laughs> he's a musical Instrument? instrument. Yeah, yeah, it's like something. But Japanese. here, they are symbolize other six religions who oppose Sakyamuni's Buddhism. Yeah. Symbolize so other six religions. definitely a foreigner. Yeah. So the just the symbol of the other foreign religion. Uh, other religion. Yeah. Isn't there something about this girl here yeah. with that flute? Chinese Mona Lisa. Chinese flute. Chinese yeah. Chinese Is that what she's called? Lisa. The Chinese Some Mona Lisa. Some foreigners they have the saying that she is like the Chinese Mona Lisa because she has the mysterical smile on her face. Right. Yeah. And uh, yes, the always the, always. The, the get the right angle instrument that she's holding is also a mystery it looks i mean the way she's blowing into it it must be a kind of flute yeah but it's some bend, kind of wind yeah it's a bend it has an odd shape to it yeah it's fun um there is a fun story about this flute. some someone invented this flute because of this based on this uh carbon oh really in that room. Yes. Wow. A master of uh, a musician, I think. And he did a lot of concerts with the flute. That takes way more skill than I could ever hope to yeah. have. <laughs> because this one this one has no records on any books, on any former books. Yeah, so it's not something that is known. Yeah. So, so this is the God of Thunder. Yeah, God of Thunder. And uh, lightning, but, but it, look, it okay. looks like a peak. Yeah, in Song Dynasty, oh. God of Thunder looks like this. Wow. But here, they uh, told us, if you treat your parents impolitely, mm -hmm. you will be punished by the lightning, by the thunder. Wow. <laughs> this is an old saying in China. So I think the whole beautiful piety 
filial piety. Yeah. Filial piety is like a new thing in the Buddhism at that time. Inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Because it's a mixture, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like the combination of uh, Buddhism and Confucianism. Yeah. Right. And uh, actually, also Taoism. Taoism. Uh, here is a combination Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. So this one is about Confucianism. So you see, it's a long process how to bring up a child. So look here, the baby, maybe five years old, still breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if you can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are interested and those who are watching, we will actually be live streaming from a visit with a famous Datu rock carving master tomorrow. Yeah. Um, someone who has been doing rock carvings for a long time. Yeah. It's great skills. I've actually met him once before when I was in, when I was here last. I'm really looking forward to seeing. About the, about his. Hi, Sorry, a little connection issue there. We have a, we have a backup angle that you can see on the screen now. There she is. Hi. Oh, so this is the uh, the cave of Maracana. It's uh, like a temple for Buddhists. Yes, you can show our audience. Ooh, a cave. This might get a little dark. We'll try. Maybe the phone will. Adjust. This is cave of Buddha Murakana. What is Murakana? In Chinese, Da oh, Zhi Very famous. Seems to be lighting up just fine. China. China. Yeah. Here, just like a teacher, give lesson for his students. Yeah. So the cave, just like a classroom. Yeah. So the cave in the in Buddhism, cave is like a. In ancient times, the cave is the temple. So, for the for them Buddhist, to yeah, to meditation, practice, or sleeping, something like that. Preaching. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing back then the caves were also chosen for the same reason we're feeling it now. It's obviously much cooler in here than it is outside. Yes. <laughs> so that must but, also have been one of the reasons why they chose to build it inside a cave like this. Yeah, but this cave destroyed a lot, you can see. In Qin Dynasty, this side flaps down. Right. You can compare it to this side. Yeah, so, so here they, you can just see yeah, stones that have made up the wall. Statues, yeah, okay. the same, like this, like this side. But yeah. over here, you still have the carvings and the statues. Luckily, you still can see some golden leaves yeah. and cutters on the carvings and statues. You have to focus one point, that is the cave also, not a natural cave. That dig out a cave and then all the statues just in one piece of rock. Uh, oh, so this cave isn't a natural cave. They dug this in? Yes, in one piece of rock, all the statues you see. Wow. Yeah. So you can see so much detail here. You must, yeah, you must the decoration. have the specific idea of what you're going to do before <laughs> you carve the stone. Oh, yeah, I could, I could never, I mean, I can't even draw a stick figure on a piece of paper, <laughs> let alone try to do something like this. And there's one thing, drawing on a piece of paper, it's only two-dimensional. There's only up and down, but here you have depth as well because it's moving into the rocks or out of it. It's mm -hmm. just, and the level of detail and craftsmanship that goes into yeah. carving stuff like this is absolutely astonishing. Yes. It's also like, this is, it's my, it's my fourth time to be here. And I still, my jaw just drops whenever <laughs> I go and see places like this. Like it's just really amazing, right? It is very, very, very amazing. Yeah. Imagine how hard it is. Yeah. No, you, you can imagine so many years ago, they used the simple tools mm -hmm. to do this. So what were the tools they used? There must've been hand tools, like small know, hand tools. Exactly. Actually. We don't know. We have no any record. About Still need it. some research on yes. this. Yes. More research is needed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look forward. Here is the center of this valley. So the sleeping Buddha. Yeah. So it's the most important one in Buddhism. Sakyamuni and Nirvana. Tell us about the story of. Uh, how do you say? Uh, Buddha mm -hmm. proposed that. 
we love because we are trying to satisfy our desires. So our romantic love are the great source of suffering. So luckily, Buddha discovered eightfold path, a sort of program who can stop your desire, entering nirvana. So nirvana is like the highest level. Yes, in Buddhism. Yes, because you、so、reach the highest level and like act like that. That he means is, like, the state of peaceful clarity, compassion. What about those figures? They are students,、oh. students of Sakyamuni. And up there, Sakyamuni's relatives、oh. just from the heaven to celebrate. Okay, they were like some gods, god, yeah. Yeah, and there are people immortal.、Oh, <laughs> yeah, immortal. so working、okay. on the clouds. Yeah, but this one, focus. It's a half body sleeping Buddha. Can you see? Yeah.、Why? Very big head.、Why? Where is the legs? Is hiding on the cliffside because. The designer trying to show us Buddha is a giant. So they made the habit of it to、uh, show the idea of how big he is. Yeah,、right? show show us Buddha is a giant in people's heart, so invisible. Yeah, so it's a、It、half body. It can be infinity. Yes. Large. Yeah. Wow. So it's a great design. And、uh, this side, this one、mm-hmm. is about.、Uh, Nine dragons, Vatan the New Prince. It's about Sakyamuni's birth. Wow! You know, in China, that's Sakyamuni. Yes, that's a younger version of him, right? Yeah, yes, yes. And there is a, always a legend, legend story about holy person.、Mm-hmm. He was born from his mother's right armpit. Yeah. As soon as, is yes, this yes, his mother. Yes. As soon as he was born. Uh-huh. He can walk and talk. What? Said, as、yeah. soon as he was born? Yeah, yes, just, it's、uh, legend <laughs> story. <laughs> he, he said, "Heaven and earth, I'm unique." Yeah, yes, the、uh, unique one. So、I、nine、think. dragons flying in the sky. It's the prince, <laughs> new prince. This is Sakyamuni. Man, I couldn't ride a bicycle until I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> But here you have to. to oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to focus the water for here.、Uh-huh. Actually, many years ago, here is a natural water. So it's natural fall before statues.、Oh. Here is a natural water. So, so they the, took advantage of the yes, ge- take the local condition, condition based、wow. on the story.、Oh. It's a clever design. Yeah, based on、yes. the local、so. condition. Magnificent work. Because you know, south of China, always raining. Yeah. But the water is kind of the da- da- damage to the creatures. Yes, you、harvest. can look at this one. In south of China, there are four main problems which harm for the statues here.、Mm-hmm. First one, look up.、Mm-hmm. The stone is sand stone,、mm-hmm. easy to carve,、mm-hmm. but it's hard to keep. Is it too crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fell down. Second fail problem、easy. is weathering. Oh, okay. So weathering, the face are gone. Yeah, they're easy to to get smoothed out over time. Yes. Just from from nature, wind、yeah. and rain. The third problem, water, flow out from the cliffside. And last problem, growing up bacteria and moss and plants everywhere. Plantation. Yeah, yeah, it's very、high. hard to keep. But I like this one. He called him. Yeah, the powerful god to repel the poison, so, stop disaster. Yeah, so we、like、have、that. many Buddhas in Chinese Buddhism, right? Yes, it's not like in India. In China, we have many, many Buddha. Because the the Buddha they have their names. Buddha、right? in China was divided into many groups. Many many groups. Each group one supervisor. Wow. So each supervisor is, Buddha. Yeah, <laughs> each one is different. Yeah. So we will see the most famous one here. So there is a like souvenir shop, right? Yes. You can buy some souvenirs. Yeah. Yes, gifts. Look at this one. Oh, this、We're、is like this one of my favorites. Let、okay. me turn the camera、oh, back to the back so they can see as we walk in here. Sorry, you have to look at my ugly face. Here we go. <laughs> There we go. Just look at that. Even from out here. This is 
This is perhaps the single most beautiful piece of yeah, but work I've ever seen. Really new, right? Yeah, because it has done a restoration. Just recent recent years, the restoration project start from the two thousand and eight. By the end of twenty fifteen, eight years it took eight, eight years. Eight years, wow. yeah. You know this one. You, you know, know, you know, one thousand. It means uh, it stands uh, as a many, many. Yeah, yeah, in Chinese. Yes. But this many. one actually has. 1,007, yes, 1,007 yeah. hands. That's Look carefully, each hand has an eye mm -hmm. in the center of the palm. You can close to it. You see? Oh. oh, each hand has an eye. What does that mean? The eye means wisdom. Oh, okay. could see everywhere. Everything. She can see everything. everyone and everything yeah. so that and the so many she has hands. the means powerful to help everyone from suffering. Yeah. So the objects that she's holding, yeah. What what does what do they mean? Yeah. Different kind of meaning. I see yeah. some fruits. That's Pangora, right? Yeah. But like, you, you know this and kind of musical in, this kind of instrument can provide many information to archaeologists to get the information about Song Dynasty also. <laughs> it's not only weapon in the hand. And the golden leaf on the statue is quite shiny. new. Yeah, it's yeah. quite new because, yeah. uh, you know, this one before, <laughs> before restoration, the surface decoration cracking, lifting some finger in the form of powder. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to keep this beauty to do the restoration. Wow. But the gold leaf, the old gold leaf, cannot paste. So we are replace the gold leaf. Use a new gold leaf. Wow, that's Looks a shiny huge project. <laughs> yes, took eight years. It also it was it. Apart from it taking eight years, it was also like a huge undertaking. But it was also a huge investment, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. It was like a, a labor intensive and sort of pricey thing to do because you can't just have random people come and, and stake stuff on here. Like, obviously, they have to know what they're doing. Yeah. I remember hearing to. about this costing, like, several million to to restore yes. and bring back. Mm. And also very special for local people. Yeah, I can they're imagine. In religion. In special day, people will come in here, hold a big ceremony yeah. just for her. But you also have... Isn't this also a little bit of a pilgrimage? Like, people come from other places to come yeah. and see this particular statue. Yes. So they it's can really shining yeah. for the Buddhist. It's funny because the first time I saw it was only two years ago, and I never saw it before it had undergone the restoration process. Mm -hmm. I I always just thought it looked like this. Mm -hmm. When I saw some of the photos of what it looked like before, and then <laughs> to to contrast that with what it looks now, I'm like it's incredible. Yeah. No wonder it took eight years to do it. Yeah. Because that is a an immense amount of it's work. Very difficult. Yeah. The group that the expert expert they do the restoration recovery project. Mm -hmm. um, they use the technique to help the other carvings in China. I think I read that in the in some articles. Yes. Yeah. They use the technique and skill to We're help the We are learning some technique from Italy. Yeah, and Dong Huang, you know, yeah. Dong Huang. Yeah. Wow. It must have been such an honor to work on something like this. Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a great work recently. Do we have any comments? Do we have any We have a comments? few. <laughs> Quite a few. Let me see what I can find here. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, we have some who've been here before. I Anne, my who have been here before, says it's an incredible place. Ah. Vivian. Vivian. Hi. Interesting. The eyes means wisdom. Hi, Anne. I think they're so incredible. This is... Let's do this. Hi, Anne. It's down there. It's okay. We can see what we got. 
Vivian loves the legend stories. There are many legendary stories. So it's not just about looking at the carvings, but it's also about, I think, one of the things that many people miss when they come to a place like this. So the first time I went here, mm -hmm. I was just here by myself. And I just sort of walked through it. And I looked at the carvings. And went, that looks fine. That looks great. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then you walk through. But then when someone is able, like yourself, to tell us what it means, what the story is behind it, how long it took to carve, it changes how you perceive yeah. and how your perspective of it because all of a sudden you, you you think about the people who worked on it and what they did so all these stories are really really important so beautiful 3d carving <laughs> yes like i said before drawing on a piece of paper is one thing remember to like our live stream and share our live stream yes guys. please and get a reminder of the live stream tomorrow. Follow all the platforms that we are on. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. Yeah. If you're watching on Twitter, just hop on all of them. Yeah. We Show us some love. I think oh. this side is three dimensional. Wow. There's a, a wow. secret viewing gallery From here? to the side. And because of the sunshine, yeah. it looks even brighter. Yeah. Right, three dimensional film, just like. <laughs> just in. Oh, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. There's a piece. Mm. Lovely piece. Yes, it's a security actually in ancient India. Oh. Yeah. Really sense of Here comes. Yeah. yeah. One of the group, quiet. It's like the Trinity, right? Yeah. Hey guys, we've arrived at the like the three cents of quiet school of Buddhism, right? So tell us about the story of the three. Yeah, of them. the middle one is Buddha Varakana. Mm -hmm. Da Ri Ru Lai, very famous in China. Left one, Wen Shu Bodhisattva, who symbolizes intelligence. And this one, Xian, also very famous in China. But focus on the pagoda in the Wen Shu Bodhisattva's hand. It looks like a very small so, object. Yeah, I have a question for you. How tall the pagoda is? Just guess. How the pagoda tall? in their hand? Yeah, in the hand. Meter, one meter. One meter. Actually taller than you see. The pagoda. 1.85 meters high. Wow. 1.85. It looks like just very small. small. Yes. It looks small when they're holding it like that. Yeah. And more importantly, the pagoda, 400 kilograms in weight. Kilograms in weight. Wow. According to the volume and the density. How can it be now? down uh, that has so that that's where some of that this is where these guys were really smart because it has to do with not only the image that they're trying to show but also how they construct it so every time something comes out and is unsupported you have to find a way to support its weight yes. and they do that partially the hand is obviously holding it uh, from the bottom but then you can see his clothes are then connected to the main body so it's leaning in and then going all the like way down like a triangle, yes. right? Like a triangle space. Yeah, exactly. Like and so because you have structure to you have, hold the weight. When you see the, it from the left, you can see how the back of the pagoda is actually linked to his uh, clothes. That sort of helps keep it in in shape. Oh. But you don't when you're standing over there, you don't see that. You just see it floating in his hand, oh. which is incredible. It's like a engineer. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's annoying. one thing to just, like you said, because it's sandstone, it's easy to break and it comes down. So not only are you thinking about what is the motive, what is the picture that I wanted to, to make, but how do I make sure that it doesn't break and fall down, especially when it's protruding, especially the last one over here is also coming out quite a bit. Yeah, I can see that. This is Pu Xian, right? Yeah, Pu Xian. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I think the broken, um, broken image of the golden leaf is quite beautiful as well. Yeah, yeah. You have someone who says, "Thanks for the amazing tour. I love you guys." <laughs> you too. We love you too. <laughs> I don't know who you are. There is a wheel of light. This one is famous. Very famous. Just like Can a I book. See there? Yeah, <laughs> it's a book of Buddhism. Wheel of life. Buddhism believe in reincarnation. Mm -hmm. So you can see this wheel. All the living creatures just in a wheel. In the center sits a monk from, from his heart. Flies out six rays. That means Buddhism is an idealism. What is the little Buddha in the race, in the races? On the race? Yeah. That means Buddha. if you can keep uh, stop desires, mm -hmm. follow the Buddhism, Nirvana. It's a, it's a book. It's a book. logical book. So the there is a ghost biting the wheel yeah. and to stop it from. <coughs> Um, from what? From the wheel spinning. Uh, it can stop, right? The wheel yes, can stop. What you have done, you cannot change the result. So the big ghost is hold the, the wheel of life. What is that? It's like a little monster. Like the, the little head is one? like a fish, the tail is uh, a that snake. That one symbolizes the future life, present life, and the past life. Just reincarnation. Let me tell you, the fish's head symbolizes future life. Snake's tail, past life. Middle part, our present life. If I do something good, I can go up next life. Turn to a horse, a goat, a monkey to be a top. To 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 the top. You see, to be a person. For all the living creature, to be a person is the best. Is the best. And then do something bad again. Go back. Turn to animal again. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. So you can start over yeah. and do the journey once again. Yeah. <laughs> the humans are different, right? There are the first four, one is poor one, the yeah. second one is a rich man, then unofficial. Yeah, <laughs> because, you know, Asian India, is a, Asian China, it's a class society, different classes. To be unofficial is the best, yeah. I have someone asking these other creatures on the wall, what are they? Like, I've seen some that look like different kinds of animals as well. Uh, like this. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. It's about, uh, <laughs> people's life is a suffering. Why? Because we have many desires. Never satisfied. There's a cat and a mouse. The cat trying to eat the mouse, but never get it. You don't like it's it. like Tom and Jerry. Always it's just like sitting there looking at the food it can't have. Greedy, but never right? get it. Yes, it's greedy. greedy. Yeah. <laughs> that means you cannot get something that you wish is suffering. Why they just touch the head of the cat? Make it so small. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. So they, you can touch any of them right now, right? Yes, you cannot touch any of them. Because your sweat would also... <laughs> there is, it's literally right there. <laughs> don't follow me because. Don't do what we do. Yeah. Don't Please do don't. Do. Follow the rules. Yeah. So these are the zodiac animals, right? They are the security of this place. So just now I tell you, we are start from the ending part. Mm -hmm. Actually, here is the real start. Oh. So this is the beginning of the story. Yeah, here is the beginning of this story. They are security to protect this place. Zodiac signs symbolize 24 hours. Uh, These are like standing here. Yeah, right. standing here. There are like some protect. kings in the... Um, it's like knights in shining armor, keeping the place safe. It's like yeah. Arthur and his knights. Yes, I like this one. This one. Which one? It's like a one? turtle head, right? <laughs> it's like a turtle. You know, it's a ghost, not a turtle. <laughs> That's a ghost, not a turtle. Like a they look kind of scary. I think they, um, in some church, they have the monsters on their 
uh, wreath. There are certain uh, churches that have like a certain kind of decoration that are like monsters. I think yeah. especially the French churches have yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what they're called. Does anyone know what they're called? On the French Most churches? Gothic. Goth 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 yeah, they're Goth gothic. I forget what they're called. Oh, I'm so terrible with architecture. Man, I need to study harder. <laughs> Here, here's my question. What is, let me see if I can get it. What's that? This one. Can guess like what a, is it? It's a big panda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a panda to me. It does That's look like a panda. Actually, in Buddhism, not a panda, it's a tiger. What? It's a tiger. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's a tiger. Because tiger nearby the entrance also stop the evil coming here. But so you can say it's not a, like a tiger. It doesn't look like what we would think or, is a tiger. They haven't seen a tiger. Yes, at the they time. have never seen a tiger so before. They, so they created a tiger based on a panda. Based oh, on a oh. panda. Oh. <laughs> but it's cute. It's like the most cute, the cutest animal <laughs> in this area, right? I mean, if I was, if I came into here and I saw that, I would think it was welcoming me. <laughs> <laughs> That's theory, right? Come on in. Some, uh, some lion. <laughs> front door. Yeah. So other, another group starting. This one is a long process, how to training a wild buffalo. But actually it's a metaphor. Mm -hmm. We compare this process to a meditator, to meditation. Oh. So the wild buffalo mm -hmm. symbolize the heart. When you trying to control your heart, just like the buffalo trying to escape. The it's buff. quite hard. Yeah. yeah. The rope symbolizes the forbidden ah. in Buddhism. Wow. Yeah. The second one, you can see the head. First yeah. He's upset, I think. <laughs> and this one is very. It's angry. being pulled. Yeah. <laughs> angry. In yeah. But one by one, you can say changed gradually. Yes. The fourth one is almost under control. Yeah. <laughs> that means. Start to uh, obey. starting to listen. Yeah, to yeah listen to, to obey, listen. obey the cohort. Yes. cohort. And here focus on the relation relationship <laughs> between the herdsman and the buffalo. Mm -hmm. Harmony, right? The yeah, harmony. You can compare with the the the, 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 the the rope is loose. Loose, yes. But never let go. Then hold the hold the rope. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't so, catch that, but the rope was loose. Not until you said it, I didn't notice it. Wow. Actually, it's a study process. You are learning. I'm learning. <laughs> study process. Mm -hmm. Here you can see the buffalo. See the rope on the neck. Yeah. Never holding the hand. Oh. Just so like just study. Enjoy himself. Yeah, enjoy himself. <laughs> Here the rope is gone. Where mm. is the rope? Oh, no, this guy is sleeping. They're sleeping together. <laughs> no escape. That means the meditator under control. Your heart under control. Yeah. We have the final image. This we one. Have the final image. It's a meditator image, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no buffalo or yeah. Home. The buffalo home. symbolizes your heart. Mm -hmm. Then your heart under control, inner peace. You get it. You get the chance. Thank you, the cave. Wow. So this the, is the end of I, the story. Yeah, there is a cave. Just like the study process, this is the last step. What is the inscription means? Uh, all the inscriptions here is about sponsors oh. and uh, donators. So okay. the people who made this place yes, possible, so to speak. Yeah, they are from Qin Dynasty. Qin Dynasty. Yeah, right. donate the money. They all, always have the name. Yeah, on yeah. the Changning. Yes, and the number of the money they donated. Oh, so oh. Most of them are from Qing Dynasty. Qing Dynasty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there any people living in Dazu now who are descendants of the people who carved this place or helped build it? Mm. No, no, almost no, no any record about right. this. Yeah. It was also just like, I don't, you didn't have very detailed records of people back then either. Because, maybe it's because the war. Maybe because yeah. the war and uh, 
no record. And uh, you know, Buddhism in the ancient dynasty is not so popular. It was still sort of on the rise. Yeah. Uh, this case is called Full Enlightenment. That means the last step to to be a Buddha. Mm -hmm. So you can see the cave, just like a classroom. Mm -hmm. Three teachers mm -hmm. in front of us and uh, students on both sides. Twelve students. students. But look at their clothes. So yeah. elegant. Their gesture and their poses are yeah. so, so like elegant style. and right. uh, vivid. <laughs> yeah. It is a little dark in here. I hope yeah. it comes through okay. Look at their jewelry yeah. that they are wearing. Like the, the crowns, everything. Can you yeah. imagine all the statues also in one piece of rock? Wow. All of the statues in this cave. This cave have, has two special designs. Mm -hmm. First one, look at the sky window up there. Oh. The, the sky window could light up this cave. And more importantly, shining on the leading one in the middle. Oh. Just like spotlight. Mm -hmm. Always shining on the main so the, the, the stage. Is, a, is kind of like a symbol of wisdom. Yeah. from the Buddha, right? Yeah. Just shining on the main actor here. The second one, well designed to bridge again. Look forward. You see? Oh, like here's a, a wet part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Between the second and the third statue, there is a monk oh. with a bow in his hand. Above the bow, above the bow, a little bit left, dragon's head. Oh, yeah. Look the channel. Dragon's body. Oh, yeah. When comes rainy day, the rainwater flow into the bow and throw the bow because the bow and the arm of this monk is holy, like a water pipe. Oh. Then, so the dragon's head starts here and runs yeah. up that so way. So the, the, the water will drop off the yes. channel to here. Oh. And flow out. Flow out. Yeah. Wow. That's design, right? Good design. Yes. This is the there biggest is cave in that rock carving. Oh, the biggest cave in biggest, that rock yeah. carving. Yuan Jue Dong. Cave of enlightenment. 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 So this cave is full of smart people. <laughs> <laughs> Like a college. Yeah, Buddhist. almost. Like a college. Taking their final exam. Yeah. Everybody just passed <laughs> successfully. Yeah, got, you must got, uh, <laughs> the right answer. I'm just like the buffalo outside, <laughs> trying to get away. <laughs> and you can stand here and turn back to the cupboard and forward again. Can you see mm -hmm. the sleeping Buddha? Yeah, oh, you can yeah. see him from here. You can see the center of this valley. It's just the down home. there. Might not Most be able to see it on this. one located in the most important, uh, how to say? Side. Yeah, <laughs> the center, the center of this valley. So they use the uh, geography, geographical uh, situation. So this is the Buddha you can see to, down to at the this end. View of the sleeping Buddha. Looks yeah, even more beautiful Buddha now that the, the most sun is starting to set and the colors yeah. are a little bit more golden. I like the forest down down there. Yeah, me too. This place is so lush and green and yeah. beautiful. I'll tell you the name of this of the main designer. Okay. Just appeared here. Are you seeing? Oh, oh, Zhao Zhi Zhao Zhi Zhi Zhi. Zhi. You can see the Chinese character. He points them again. <coughs> the three character. Right. Zhao Zhi Feng, the main designer of all the statues here. He was that young Zhao monk who started this yes, whole project. Who finished all the statues. 19 from 19, 19 years, old. years old. So how how is it that a monk so young, because 19 is young even for a monk, that's isn't it? That's 19, not young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 19, almost like 30 right now. Oh, yes, of course. The yeah. the life expectancy is, of course, yeah. much higher now. Yes. It's just to us, like someone who is 19 is like, wow. <laughs> like, he, what did I do at 19? So many, so much money um, to do this. Because at that time, people believe in Buddhism. 
so they can he must be training. preached yeah preached preached all the time yeah preach everywhere to everyone yeah. <laughs> everywhere to everyone and here i just explained about the that's rock carving bird heritage list by unesco in 1999. Yeah, 1999. On December 4th. This is the only, only World Heritage Site in Chongqing. Yes. It's the only World Culture Heritage Site. I believe uh, Wulong is uh, an, uh, natural. a natural yes. heritage site. Okay. <coughs> Here is a certificate about the... It's under protection by government in 1961. Okay. Yeah, Baoding area, Baoding Wow. And even though this is my fourth visit, I'm still hearing stuff and learning stuff that I didn't know the last time I was here. <laughs> and the name here, look up. Baoding. Bao means treasure. They means top. So this is the best place. Oh, this is the top of this area. No, I mean this place. This the place, best place oh. for Buddhist learning Buddhism. Oh. There are two characters, Shou <coughs> and Fu, longevity and happiness. It's a good wish for everybody coming here. Show is for. And this poor little statue belongs to Taoism, not to Buddhism. Most of the Taoism scriptures are in Shijuanshan, right? In and Shimeshan, Nanshan, Nanshan? 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 yes. The four little statues here come to 1915. So they're also the newest, aren't they? Almost uh, quite new, yeah. yeah. By comparison, at least. <laughs> yeah. I really like the stories in the tower. Really? Yeah. Maybe you can go to Nansha. <laughs> I definitely would do. Which one of these carvings here is your personal favorite? My personal favorite yes. is just this one. This one? Yeah, I like this one. It's easy to understand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take so much effort. You can just look at it and you sort of know what it I is. I just like a map. Yes. But in China, I most prefer my, uh, how would you say? I love the Dunhuang grottoes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Gansu province, yeah. From pro process grotto grottos in Gansu think, province. Yeah, I I think they had a word word and a colorful painting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to those either. <laughs> Man, I need to travel more. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Okay, now to here almost finished the. Is this the end? Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Can we go back and do it again? <laughs> Ask our audience. Just to start from start from here and then go back and do another round. <laughs> How much time do we have? Um, we've been fifty five minutes in. Oh, so wow. perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing. We were hoping okay. to do the whole thing in about an hour, and I think we, we did pretty good. Wow, you can show our audience. There is much more. Like, I think it's also important that it's not just about the rock carvings. Like the whole area they've built here yeah. is beautiful. Like it's just like to walk around and natural park. But the architecture here is are very beautiful. It still sort of retains a very sort of old style. Yeah. How old is all that? This must be newer though, right? But they've built it to to match. For tourism. Yeah. Yeah. I love all this. I could I could stay here for days. <laughs> you know how in some parks you can go in as long as you come in during the late afternoon, you can stay and sleep and then mm -hmm. stay the next day. Mm -hmm. I can just sleep in a cave <laughs> and have a good time. First, you have to start study the Buddhism. In oh, I'll, I'll, if, if, it, if it grants me access to staying here, I'll study Buddhism all day long. <laughs> you can to meditation. Yes. So back, back in the ancient times, the believers, they practice themselves all in the nature, like mm -hmm. outdoors. Just, just do things like this. Water, mountain. Flower, Wherever you could find some place <laughs> quiet. Yeah. And quiet, far away from the city life. Yeah. yeah. Great. Right. Thank you so much, Lily, for yeah, showing us around and, yeah. and telling us everything okay. about this place. Yeah. And I think we will uh, we will see you tomorrow, guys. Yes.
we're you. heading to another place tomorrow to f visit one of the master. guys who actually is a master of rock yeah. carving. Yeah. That's going to be very so. So stick around, subscribe, yeah. like this like video, and share, write more comments, yeah. do what it, do all those things because we have much more videos, many more videos to come. Yeah. Sorry, grammar is important. Yes. So we're gonna head on off for now. Thank, Thank you again, you Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Didi. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye.